let's say melanin dominant, we have more selenium, whereas Europeans have more sulfur. That's why if they get wet, their hair wet, they give off that smell. They have more ammonia salt in their body that keeps their body warm. That's why we'll get in offices, it's cold to us, it's not to them. They'll jump in the cold water in a lake or a river and we don't go there, okay? Because of the body difference. Now, your bones are 10 times stronger or denser than a European woman's. That's right. So that means your hemoglobin level is different. That means your, your cell uh, count, you're, in other words, you're very different. Our problem has been that even though our bodies are very different, we're taking medication designed for another body, and that's the European body. And I want to make it perfectly clear, I'm not putting down Europeans because it's their responsibility to take care of their people just like it's our responsibility to take care of us, okay? But because our bodies are so different, when you do take that medication, generally going to end up with some problems. Now ours generally is something very natural and mama will go into that too and that is just eating an alkaline diet and we can explain that. It's plant-based. Stay away from those things that cause acid to our body and that would be those notorious white things like the white flour, the white pasta, the white uh, sugar, the white table salt, all of those things that have been bleached, okay? And like in the case of the salt, you've had synthetic iodine put in. Our bodies cannot really break down, as well as other chemicals, just so it can pour better, you know, without the lumps. So we are going, we're promoting, you know, sea salt or Himalayan uh, salt, those things as uh, really alternatives to these things that are not good for us. Now, uh, our books, they have, since we wrote them, um, three books on health and nutrition. Two of them have become, become bestsellers. One is number one in Amazon, and the other is one in the UK. So we're really very thankful, and we'd like to thank all the people for getting the word and information out. Now, yes. <laughs> the, the book for people of color... Uh, it's similar to the one for the general public, which is number one in the UK. If you follow that book, not only will you become healthier, but you are going to clean out or detox those things that are in your third eye. When you open up your third eye, then you become more human, okay, more loving. And since we all have to live on this planet together, Mama and I have designed our books so that we can have the world in harmony. Ah. <laughs> uh, yes. You know, I was um, reminded when I spoke to you over the phone last night, uh, Sister Kemet, when you had mentioned that the sugar was really a challenge, right? But you look great. You look great. You don't, I, you know, when you think of sugar and someone having an addiction, you think of, like in America, great big, you know. Fluffy. <laughs> fluffy. But look at you. But look at you. You look wonderful. But you know what? No, but you, you look pretty because, number one, you know we're going to have to change anyway because I'm 66 going on 67. And yes, I, I have always been at least maybe 15, 20 pounds more in my life and in raising children. However, you know, the time started to change by the time I got to 40. I started seeing more grays and, you know, the body started to look a certain way. But because I did exercises in college, because that was my minor, I jumped right back in on the bicycle, you know, running, you know, trying to build myself up again. And that was the first thing. And I had already had started, you know, changing my uh, food intake because the doctor told me fast forward 20 years ago, you know, in my 40s, and this was right before my 20s, that I had to change. And I did change. That change for 20 years was good. I, I reduced the sugar. I, I cut back on the meats. Instead of just eating large pieces of steaks and roast as I grew up with, I cut them in small pieces, and I fry them in a wok. You're familiar with the wok, right? 
and put all the different vi um, vegetables and all the spices um, and then I would have maybe some um, rice or you know I just was just became so creative and it would take hours in the kitchen you know but I felt like to save my life I had to do it and just over the periods you know uh, leaving the coffee alone stop smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol. I, I was moving so fast. I had no idea that I was really killing myself. But as the time gone on, my body was telling me I had to stop doing things. Otherwise, I had an excessive amount of gas. And I was always running to the health food stores because I knew that the health food stores could help me, whereas in the 80s, the, the hospitals and doctors had already gone to the, they said pharmaceuticals, I call them pharmaceuticals, harm, okay? They're out to harm us. You know, that's a bad thing. Well, you know, it's, and being a melanated people, we need to know that those drugs and things were not necessarily for us. You know, we, we had to find out what we're supposed to eat. So I did it by going to farmer's markets, um, going to the health food stores, as I said, I wouldn't eat anybody's food. I would only go to restaurants where I know the food was plant-based. So what I'm saying is, where you are now, you just start little bit by little, and your body will guide you the rest of the way. For instance, with this COVID time, this has been the biggest wake up. I have friends right now, I called one, talked to her yesterday in America, 72 years old. She said, they're killing us over here. I mean, the food, I can't find turmeric anymore. The ginger is not on the shelf because we are waking it up. You know, we want to come to Africa. Now they got the borders. They want to stick things in your nose. And, you know, I mean, all these, I mean, I'm ready to go to Tanzania or somewhere and, they, and I have to make sure that I'm not going to let them stick anything in my nose because I don't know what's on that Q-tip. Exactly. We we're talking the same thing today. Even there's um, a place in England, I don't know if you heard of it, uh, just about two hours out from uh, what you can do it in about an hour and a bit, called Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they yeah. gave um, some students test kits to test themselves at home or whatever. And two of the students were medical, um, what do you call it, medical students. Mm -hmm. And they ran out to tell, tell the other students that the test kit was So we have to be really careful. Let you know, my husband say what he has to say. Well, <laughs> before I tell you, uh, my wife and I have discussed this. And what we've come, at the end of the day, it's very important that we keep our immune system up. Now, whether or not this is a pandemic, you know, to, you know, take care of international pedophile uh, network or whatever, it does not matter. The bottom line is we have a responsibility to ourselves and the people that we love to keep our immune system up. When you have your immune system up, uh, you don't have to worry about any viruses or anything. So let's just concentrate on that and not deal with uh, outside forces that are giving you different information, you can't verify, okay? But stay with what we are. So Mom and I just wanted to just point out a few things if you didn't already know. Number one, our book has over 50, no soy, uh, non-gluten recipes. And soy is very important because they ran a game on us in America and most of the world. We did not know that there were really two types of soy. That was that they fermented to take out a lot of contaminants and stuff. And then there was that that they didn't. Guess what we got? And as a result, a lot of people that were trying to get alternative, healthy ways of living, eating all soy, and they flooded the market with it, didn't they? Soy burgers, soy wieners, soy, 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 right? A lot of them got cancer and they died, okay? Some of us have survived, and whichever way we did, but we made it, okay? <laughs> so, we're here to tell you, we're here to tell you, number one, uh, if you have a microwave oven, Get rid of it. 
you know, uh, because 95% of all the nutri nutrients in your food is gone. And your body ends up taking a lot of waste, negative, or dead calories. Which means, in order for our bodies to break it down, it has to neutralize the acid. So what you're doing is taking the nutrients from the minerals in your body to neutralize it. In other words, people that eat a lot of acidy food, meat and stuff, these are the people later that have the weak bones. Why? Osteoporosis. Because their body has constantly had to drain itself to neutralize the acid you're eating. So that says, that speaks wonders for having a plant-based diet. Uh, number two, we wanted to point out that the oils are really a challenge. When I say oils, once again, marketing in America, I gotta give you a high five. They called it vegetable oils, right? Your soy, your canola, uh, your, interesting, canola used to be called rape seed, but that wasn't a very good marketing angle, so they changed it to canola. Okay, you have your soy bean, you have your safflower, all of those clear looking oils. They call those industrial oils because they're clear, they're odorless, and they use chemical deodorizers to uh, so you can't smell the, the rancid smell of the omega-3s that go rancid during the process. Also, most of, the, uh, most of it comes from geoengineered beans and, and uh, plants. And then you have it sprayed with God knows what, atrazine and, and Roundup and those things. So it's no wonder it causes a lot of challenges. Um, also, we wanted to point out that coconut oil is better for people of color. You can use it for a high heat, low heat. It's also good because it's antifungal. It's, and uh, a lot, it's used to treat cancer, um, uh, candida, herpes, um, and, and it's good. And too. you can also use it for your um, swooshing, what you call it? Um, it's, it's a word where we put, take, uh, I do it generally every night. Hmm? It's called um, you know, gargling and what is, there's another term, it'll come to me. When you put it in your mouth. When you put it in your mouth and for 20 minutes. Yeah, we would say swooshing. Yeah, swooshing, yeah. yeah. Right, so, um, yeah, so another thing too, um, right now we should drink lots of water. Hydration. Yeah, because there's so many things that's in our environment that we don't know is foreign to us. But if you drink, consume enough water, it can help sustain your, your, um, your life. Um, and also um, drinking, um, you should have plenty of fruits and vegetables. Like in the mornings, you should start out with your fruits. I generally now start out with, um, with water and I put in a formula which is turmeric, um, moringa, um, I put MSM which is good for your joints and bones, um, sea moss, um, bladder whack, um, brewer's yeast, um, black pepper, lime, and, and my citrix drink that I will give you a little information on. And this has helped me so much in terms of um, keeping my immune system up. And there's my concoction that I make all the time. This is my concoction that I make for my, that helps, has helped people with uh, malaria for the past two years. Wait, for, why don't you tell them the story? How did it start out? How did you start? And then we'll tell you how it <laughs> ended up being tagged as the herbal cure for the coronavirus and so many people are using it out throughout the world. Including you. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I actually... Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when you create... I sent you, I sent the two of you the recipe. I sent you, um, Kim, at the recipe and the concoction, how we put it together. And it's, it is, it is really, um, it's the best. I got sick here in the Gambia um, two years ago, and I think that was another change wave in my life, and training the chefs, and these were young women, and I mean, I had sons, that's all I wanted was boys, I didn't want any girls, and now I really know why. They're so challenging, you know, you, 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 I mean, you can buy them everything, and it still doesn't help. 
if their moods change. It depends on their body chemistry, you know. So I think after a year of that, dealing with that, I just got down. And I wasn't really taking care of myself because I was trying to feed them healthy so that they can learn that food has a lot to do with your cramps and your headaches and so forth. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.